Hello everyone, in this video of Microsoft Excel 2010 VBA programming, I'm going to show how we can set up a macro to save your file as read only, but also in addition, do it as save as, that way we're saving the file in a different location, like such as a public location. So make sure your macros are enabled and we're going to want to get this set up already. You have your file already saved. Mine in this case is testfile.xlsb, and this is going to be the file that I keep more like on the back end. It's not necessarily the file in the public location where somebody might might be viewing it on a daily basis. So I'm going to go on and hit record macro. I'm going to put save workbook read only public location. And I'm going to go on and hit OK. And what I'm going to do is do the commands. I'm going to do save as and I'm going to go on and store this to my desktop, although I know this isn't the public location where I'm really going to have the file, but for this video's testing, I'm going to put it in the desktop and I'm going to save it as public report that XLSB. And I'm going to go on and select save. And now I'm going to stop recording. So we will need to modify the macro because this by itself will not do what we want it to do. And we're going to go on and edit it out. I'll just show you how I did that. Go on and select your macros. Select the macro that we just created. Hit edit. And this is what we're going to go ahead and change here. All this macro is doing is making sure the directory exists user Alex desktop which is where I saved it and then it does a save as and it puts the file name right here so the very first thing that we're going to want to do is delete the file if it already exists this is going to be the kill command and this is the exact file that we have right here now in VBA you could call a function to see if the file already exists but what I'm going to do is do on error resume next and what this is going to do is that if there if this is an error right here it's just going to go on to the next the next line of code so we're going to delete the file if it already exists after that we're going to save it and the next thing that we're going to want to do is set the file's attribute to read only and we can use the command set a t t r and we're going to paste the file name it must be in double quotes and we're going to put vb read only after doing this we're just going to close the workbook active workbook dot close Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this back to the original file that I had, test file that XLSB, and I'm going to go on and hit save. I'm going to close this file out, and I'm going to I'm going to delete the public report just for right now, and I'm going to run open up our test file. This was the workbook open event that we created earlier. I still have it there. I'm going to hit OK. But I'm going to run the macro that I just created for saving the file in a public location. I'm going to hit macros. And I'm going to go on and run the save workbook read only public location macro. Hit run. And as you notice the workbook disappeared. I'm going to go on and close this out. We now have this report over here. It's public report.xlsb. First off I'm going to right click it and hit, hit properties the file is read only and now we have to do just open it make sure everything it looks good in there we still have the same macro you just open up your workbook and all the information is still here alright that completes this portion of the video for recording a macro which saves the file as read only and into a different location